the white flag on Rusty Wallace, point five, three, three miles away from win number two in 1997. And heavy traffic right in front of these cars. I don't know if it's going to play into anybody's hands. Gordon takes a look again. Rusty comes down, slams the door. Gordon on here. Here comes Jeff Gordon to take the lead. Gordon takes the lead. Rusty slips. Jeff Gordon will win at Bristol, Tennessee. Wallace second, Labonte third. Look at him. He is. Look at him, man. <laughs> wow. And Ray Everham is ecstatic. Unbelievable. And there's a big smile on the young man who has won his third straight Food City 500. Let's go down to our McDonald's winner circle and hear from Jeff Gordon. Bill? Uh, Jeff Gordon, I'm, that's amazing. Congratulations. That's three wins in a row with this race. Tell me about the last lap. Well, that certainly was interesting because uh, not only was I trying to get by Terry, or uh, um, Rusty, Rusty, all, Rusty, I mean, he was tough all day. I knew he was going to be the guy to beat, but I was trying to get by him, but now I had to worry about Terry. And, you know, that set of tires wasn't as good as the time before. I was a little bit tight, and then I'd get loose, but uh, I tell you what, I got to thank these guys on this DuPont Chevrolet. They did an awesome job today in the pits and uh, gave me a great race car and uh, you know it was pretty tight down there i mean that's what bristol's all about you get down to the closing lap at bristol and, and it's any man for himself i've seen it done many times were you concerned on that last set of tires that your car was not going to come around to you it really didn't it never really came as good as it was earlier but uh, it was still good enough to catch rusty and that's all i needed well congratulations that's a great win for you and ray had said late in the race that his money was on you well, he better put his money on me, but uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be guaranteed every time. But I put my money on him, and I tell you what, these guys have, have been great. And really proud of this one today. That's Jeff Gordon in victory lane to John Kernan with Rusty Wallace. Rusty Wallace is over by the gas pumps now to your second place finish. And Rusty, that what a wild finish. What happened there? How did he get around you? <laughs> Just a lap car down there in turn one and two with the last lap. Checker flags waving, or white flags waving, and... Uh, and the 23 car was on the bottom of the track there, and we all had to go around the outside of him. And when that happened, it, allowed, it let him get up on my rear end, and uh, he get close to me. Then I got down to turn three and got one of those little love taps, and I got up the racetrack a little bit and uh, got second. That's about it. This battle for the lead, the top three positions real close together on the track. Rusty has been... I think that's top four positions. Okay. Rusty's been trying to hold off uh, Jeff Gordon for the last... Oh, some contact there. And they're still, they, they almost got hung together there. Wow. Now Jeff's going to try to get on the outside. Here he comes. He had tried it on the inside. That didn't work. So he said, let me go up on the high side of the racetrack. Rusty was protecting that bottom lane. And it looks like that Gordon, he's... Oh, oh. the contact. And Jeff Spence. Got a fan on third. Get out low. Get out low. Get out low. You got it. Go, 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 go. Don't let the 23. Stay on the bottom. A lot of smoke. A lot of smoke. Everybody check it out. And Terry Labonte comes back to the line in front. Wow. Jeff Gordon into the wall hard in turn two is going to let back toward the pits. Well, he's got a lot of damage to that Utah Chevrolet. Jared stayed on the racetrack, and that didn't surprise me. His car, his car you know, starts coming in after it runs off. Real time. That's down, that's coming off two, about a lap before it happened. And then Gordon gets on the outside, going in three. Now to come off turn four, he has the position. The body start finish line down in one. And there's Gordon, and we see Rusty just touch that left rear around those Jeff and hard on the outside retaining wall. Another angle, we see right there. Right there, just a contact. And then Rusty almost spun his car. We see Labonte go by on the inside to take the lead. And they'll push the DuPont Chevrolet behind the wall. Let's see if they can get it out there for a few more laps. Well, 
Jeff Gordon has crashed and dropped out of contention. Just a little less than 25 laps to go here at Richmond. You can imagine the emotions going through the mind of Jeff Gordon right now as he was in a battle for the lead with Rusty Wallace. The two cars collided, sending Jeff hard into the outside wall in turn number two. He walks back to his trailer. This is how championships are won and lost. Never see Gordon on the outside. The two car makes contact. Around goes Jeff. He nails the gas, trying to keep the car out of the wall, trying to get to a 360, but it goes up and smacks the wall hard. Now, as we look from the helicopter, Ned, folks, it looks to me like, again, I'm not, it looks to me like Rusty Wallace gets the car loose. Right there, it looks like he gets the car a little bit loose, and when he turns it back to the right to save it, he runs in the 24. Bill Weber? Well, Jeff Gordon walks back to his uh, truck in the Winston Cup garage. Obviously, Jeff, very emotional. What happened, Jeff? Well, that's pretty obvious. You tell me. You know, you got it on video. It's, I think it's pretty simple. You know, I uh, I had the uh, the position on him. He just drove into the left rear. I don't know what happened. It's all that needs to be said right now is Jeff Gordon is experiencing his second DNF of 1998. We'll be right back with more. With Rusty Wallace at the gas pumps, a great car for you, a solid run, a close finish, but everyone's going to remember the contact and turn to your version of it. Ah, uh, well, my version of it is just we just racing for the win. We went down in the corner, both of us wide open. We got together, he spun, and I went on, and that was it. The big thing happened at the end when the 5 and 88 got together. It was a heck of a race. I had just four tires, got alongside the five car, lost the race by about four foot. But, man, I think we'll win one pretty soon. We keep getting so close. We keep having a good car. But uh, I'd like to thank the entire crew, man. Great job tonight. I know you try and keep everything positive. Obviously, Gordon did not see it the same way you did, Rusty. Well, yeah, that's okay. We had a great race tonight, don't you think? Thank you. Rusty Wallace finishes in second position. We get the Richmond in the race, late in the race. I, I see an opportunity, so I, I wreck him. I said, <laughs> Wall destroy him. I mean, he's got nothing left. His junk is tore up. <laughs> and um, and so I, I went through and looked down. I said, Jeff, do you know that that our our first deal was in 1997? I didn't do the payback. 1998. That was over a year I waited. And so that's how much it bothered me. Unless right. these guys really get crazy down here. Stewart easing it, bringing them slow off turn four, and now he's on the gas. And we've got just and two Gordon, laps. Gordon's got a terrible restart. I believe he spun the tires when he took off. Rusty Wallace pulls to the inside. That two car, Steve Brooks, coming. He carried them all the way up. Oh, oh, right there. Going. Wrecking down the front. They stay green. Todd Bodine got spun, but we keep going. Right. We're under green with one lap to go, and they come back. Look at Rusty all over the rear bumper of that 24 car. Gordon got such a terrible restart, and it uh, really cost him a shot at getting up there and getting after Stewart. Last lap. There's a park right there. Got a shot at getting under Rusty off of two over here. Can't quite make it happen. Car spinning down the back straightaway. No matter. Checkered flag in the win. Tony Stewart, 10th career victory, first of the season. That was Elliot Sadler spinning down the back stretch as a lot of wild things happened in the last two laps. Well, that's basically what that's all about. When you stop them over there and get them lined up like that for a shootout, uh, that's a, just kind of a preview of the next week's race, Winston coming up. Tony Stewart's first win came here at Richmond in September 99. In his last three races, a win, a fourth, and a second. This is Rusty Wallace. He's pointing Jeff Gordon. They've been side by side ever since they checked checkered flag, have a little conversation with each other. Good job. Good job. Short tracks, short sprint to the finish equals short tempers. Yes, it does. And of course, what happened there, again, Gordon didn't take off. He, uh, I think he spun his rear tires that let Rusty get alongside of him going down into first turn. Got old tires on the cars. They kind of got together down there. That's just one of those racing things. I don't believe anybody be worried, should be uh, upset about that. This is after the race. Ooh. And he gets him a little tight. Oh, he's great checking. And, and Jeff's arms out the window. And there's Rusty's response. Steve?
talking to Jeff Gordon. Well, we had a great race today. I led the most laps. We finished third. And we gained a lot of points on Jared, and that was a big thing for me today. I was real happy with the car. And man, I tell you, it's got too loose at the very end there, and I fell from the lead to third. And not much I could do about it. Let's go to Matt. Well, Jeff, Jeff Gordon is climbing from this car. Jeff, what about your conversation with Rusty? Well, you know, he body slammed me pretty bad there at the last corner. And, I mean, it was just racing, but I was a little mad at him, you know. Uh, thought it was a little uncalled for. Um, you know, he got a good restart, and he got underneath me, but there's no reason for him to just slam me all the way up in the other lane. But DuPont Chevrolet was great today. I mean, uh, I thought we had a shot at winning there at the end. You never know what could have happened, you know, with the old tires like that on the restart. We might have had a shot at him, but we'll never know now. But uh, just really proud of Rob and these guys. They, they worked hard, come home with another runner-up finish. Uh, you know, it's a good point today for us. We're real happy. What was Rusty's response? Oh, well, he's mad at me because of what happened afterwards because I just thought it was uncalled for what he did, you know, going in there. He, he said, hey, you know, I just drove in there and couldn't stop and drove into you. And, uh, you know, that's just, I guess, short track racing with two to go. That is short track racing. Mike? Kind of nice they can smile about it afterwards, at, at least for the camera. I was proud of Rusty. Now, you know, he didn't jump. He just he nope. said, oh, my car ran good, and uh, you could tell he was hot, and uh, but he moved on. Uh, but that is, that, that last couple of laps there is uh, just ingredients for disaster when you stop the cars like that and then ask these guys to race for the win. I wonder that they didn't have a few more tempers flaring. Three laps to go. Slow the traffic. I think caused that right there. Here comes Gordon right up to the bumper again. Did you hear that wheel spin, Benny? Yeah, I did hear that wheel spin. <laughs> the bump and run! There it is! Gordon underneath to the lead. Two laps to go! Can Rusty come back? <laughs> Jeff better hope not. <laughs> 31 races since Jeff Gordon has been to victory lane. The much publicized dry spell could come to a close in one more lap around the Bristol half mile. the opening part of the race got caught back in, back in traffic after a late pit stop but the bump and run is going to get jeff gordon the checkered flag at the end of the winless streak gordon wins the sharpie 500 at bristol here's a discussion about the bump and run we've seen this before between these two well, on the way in, he was reviewing with his crew the incident that happened a couple years ago with Jeff Rusty. What do you have to say about this? It's just racing, I guess, you know. It's just tough. Uh, I would have liked to won. It's been a long time since I won, but it's been a long time since Jeff won, too, and I know he won it real bad, too. You think, I mean, that's obviously why it was such a fight. You, you guys are both hungry for this win. Yeah, we're real hungry for it. It's been a long time since I won. I guess my day's coming, but, man, I've tried real hard, real hard, and, uh, they get nailed in the rear end in the last lap and turn sideways. That was, I didn't expect it. But I got behind that 25 car, just couldn't get around them. The lap car slowed me down. And when I got to them, I knew I was going to have a problem. And I lost the front, I lost the air to the front. It allowed Jeff to get up on me in my rear end and uh, just enough to get, to get he, he just got to me where he could hit me. I was trying desperately to knock the out of him. I just couldn't catch him. You can imagine what this is going to be like. He's already shaking hands with Robbie Loomis, who's car owner Rick Hendrick. I may not need to do an interview. I'm trying, I really am. <laughs> hey! Welcome home. Oh, oh, thank you! Oh, God. So thankful. I'll tell you, uh... You know, I, I just wanted it really, really bad. Uh, you wanted this night race at Bristol bad. You know, I did want that, but I just wanted to take advantage of an opportunity. These guys gave me such an awesome race car, great pit stops all day, all night long, and, uh, you know, they deserve a win. We, we don't uh, we don't deserve to be written about about our losing streak, so thank God that's over. And I really just want to thank God for, uh, for everything, getting us through so much. You know, these guys stuck together. This is going to do so much for this race team. Let me thank DuPont and... Uh, uh, GMAC, Quaker State, Pepsi, Fritos, uh, everybody just makes this thing happen. Haas, EDS, we're just, we're so fortunate. Lowe's, uh, Chevrolet, it's just been an amazing night. I, I mean, I, I feel like this is the first time I've ever won. <laughs> How about the passive Rusty, Jeff? Yeah, you know, he got uh, bottled up in some traffic, and I knew if I could get to him, 
you know, I can make a move. And he got real loose, shut the door on me. And once he shut the door on me, I said, all right, you know, fair game right there. So, you know, I, I got into him a little bit. He got loose. And uh, I hope he'll understand tomorrow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you.